We are stoked to have our next guest join us here on the program in San Francisco, Scary Pool Party. Hello. Uh, should I keep continuing to address you as Scary Pool Party? Or sure, yeah. Can I say Alejandro? You can or? say whatever you like. It's Al. Al, you can call me anything. Yeah. What, what was your nickname in, uh, uh, in your family? Or? In my family, uh, I mean, a lot of my family call me anything, really. They call me names, say uh, Junior, say Junior Hondo, yeah, okay. a lot of things. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll go with Alejandro because I feel like Scary Pool Party is like such a, <laughs> such a mouthful. And I'll be honest, one of our staffers saw this on the schedule yeah. and was like, Scary Pool Party? They thought it was like some, you know, really crazy bang em EDM or, yeah. you know, hardcore rock yeah. type of artist. And I had to fill them in. and. <laughs> And here you are. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think the name kind of like aids into different lanes of music. Yeah. It can be. If like you hear it and you think it's an ADM kind of trap style music, and then I'm playing like some acoustic music. And like, yeah. How many guys live in San Francisco? Obviously, you made a name for yourself so far yeah. with American Idol. Yeah, yeah. Which is a totally different uh, type of outlet and platform than what you grew up on. Yeah, definitely. What were the things that really got you into music? Uh, you know, yeah, obviously, Slipknot and Rage uh, Against the Machine. And yeah, yeah, I, I kind of like grew up on, well, ranging from Slipknot to Aphex Twin to this band called Dead Can Dance to Nick Drake to a lot of different versions of uh, styles, should I, should, I should say, uh, of music. And um, I think growing up for me, I was homeschooled, so. You know, I had to really go out and look for bands and look for music and different types. So I would find myself at the library, you know, searching around. And um, I remember the first real CD that I really listened to was uh, Downward Spiral by Nine Inch Nails. And I wasn't allowed to listen to that when I was growing up. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I was just like, well, I'm just going to go to the library and listen to it. And I did it. And, Ever since then, I've been just searching for a lot of different styles of music. What was your intention, or what did you want to get out of that experience with American Idol? Because yeah. kid growing up in Pomona, uh -huh. into Slipknot hardcore, yeah. Lincoln Park blaring from your sister's room, what have <laughs> yeah. you, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, honestly, I wouldn't think that this is a good fit for you. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought the same thing, too, going in. Um, I was just trying something new, you know? It's was, really something new. Yeah, it's super, I was just like, man, like I need to get out of my comfort zone. Like I'm so used to just trying and trying and trying, and which is awesome. But I was like, maybe let me just try this and, and maybe they can allow me to play some songs on the TV. And I did it and they've been nothing but loving. I mean, the show, the people at the show are absolutely amazing and they treated me very well. And it was, um, it was a great experience, especially for me mentally too understand that like I'm not weak in, in my mind which I thought I was and it, it preps everything within your soul to be like okay like work hard with music understand who you are keep to it and everything will set a sail and, and it's been great you really went from one extreme to another yeah it went right I learned a lot because <laughs> yeah. you went from just fooling around in your bedroom at yeah. home mm -hmm. Hitting the road with Twin Shadow. Yeah. And then all of a sudden in front of 30 million people <laughs> yeah. on a weekly basis. Yeah. And, it, you know, I, I love how TV plays it up, too. It's yeah. like, former dishwasher. It's like, <laughs> I was a waiter when I was in yeah, college. Exactly. They're going to call me a former waiter? Yeah. You know, for... Uh, <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm sorry they did that to you. Yeah, but yeah, I'm sure yeah. That has to be a compelling story, right? Yeah, Rags yeah. To riches, uh, yeah, it's it's you know it's it's fine, but it, I think it, how you said going from extremes, like it's exactly how you say it. Like I went from that to playing with Twin Shadow, basically being on my first flight, my first ever festival was like my first show with him, and it was insane. And so after that, we played a sold out show to Beck, and we were just like, whoa! I was like. Okay, <laughs> this is insane. And to me, I was like living it up. I'm like, this is awesome. I'm like, I'm gonna try harder. And then getting on a TV show was like a totally different lane because you're dealing with people that don't really go to shows and they just watch a TV show and then all of a sudden your your access to their access to your music and your style and everything like that. So I think 
even like the dishwashing stuff. Like, yeah, like I used to be dishwashing. I used to be a lot of things. <laughs> right, right, right. Dave Grohl was a former bricklayer. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Before he even auditioned with Nirvana. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, but it, they need a story. So I guess it, that's what it is. Yeah, know? yeah. We touched upon the music that you grew up with, the style that you lean towards, what you're doing now. Yeah. This fall tour is going to be the same vein of what you presented on TV or how much are you going to sprinkle in some of your industrial influence? Yeah, it's going to be very much sprinkled in right from the get-go. Uh, I think like the first four tracks are going to be very loud, <laughs> okay. more than normal. But I think the, for the fall tour, I definitely want to present different styles of music and for people just to understand and, you know, to be accepting of different styles within an artist because so much so many people just fall into the same thing of just making a pop song and that's what they are and then they try something new and their you know their fans are like no like we like that style like you know i think the thing is with my music i'm tr really trying my hardest to like really say that the like, music should be a worldwide thing and we should all be accepting of every style and it's just a, a form of expression and I think a lot of people take it way too seriously. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, everybody has their bands. Everybody has their right? bands, which is great. We were just chatting about Billie Eilish yeah, Exactly, earlier, right? Billie it's Eilish, like, yeah. You know, like, oh, you know, that, that, that's our girl. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right? I mean, it's great, but I think with music, it's so vast and it's so huge that I think it would be great to have like a set where someone's just playing jazz or playing classical or playing both of those combining them and then you know the next song is some folk song like you know yeah. different styles of music is what, really what I'm trying to like convey for the fall tour mm. so uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. That's awesome and I'm sure that some of these can even be stripped down to make it more yeah. palatable exactly. for this current audience right? Exactly yeah, yeah totally. Do you think that an album will be able to be ready by then or what, what, what's the scheduling like for that? Yeah, I think an album should be ready by then. Uh, of course, you know, a lot of work goes into that, which I'm totally working for right now. Um, yeah, it should be ready by then, hopefully. Okay. And if not, there'll just be more singles and, you know, how you said sprinkling is just sprinkling the different styles of music. Yeah, yeah. Congrats on everything and look forward to the show tonight. Thanks, man. It means a lot. Great to meet you. Thanks. Scary Pool Party. You're watching B-Sides on air. <laughs> You'll be asking me to keep